very well. That was epic. <laughs> the little drive we took. The little drive was epic. Everybody in the uh, in the outside world out there, they, they crash real tight to the monitor, and I push my way through, and there's this like just trying to epic watch this little uh, strange yeah. journey we took. Yeah, and thanks, Max, for the like the rebel thing. <laughs> my pleasure. You work with. You get a uh, royalty on that too. Yeah, you work with uh, Springsteen, right? Yes. Yeah, uh, my drummer also, Zachary, was also with Springsteen, not at the same time as you. That's right. And he did Wait, wonderfully. Yeah. There was uh, a drummer in the wings to replace Max if anything went wrong. What is? I wondered who that guy was. Yeah. But, <laughs> He's just up. sitting there. He comes along hopefully every uh -huh. week. Yeah. You have the coolest hair in rock and roll. Thank you I, very I have much. to say that right now. Does he not? Doesn't he have the... He doesn't think so, the guy there. There's <laughs> one guy in there? No, he thinks yeah. he can do a little better. It's because he has no hair. <laughs> He's looking for his moose right now. First of all, congratulations. I beg you, your pardon? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, congratulations. The, the birthday concert. I want to talk about this. Your 50th birthday. Yeah. Most people get a cake, yeah. you know, in a dreary party. Yeah. You have a Madison Square Garden super yeah. concert yeah. that's on pay-per-view. Yeah. This is when yeah. you know you've made it, when your birthday is on pay is a pay-per-view event. <laughs> That's the sign it, that you've actually accomplished something. The, the garden thing meant a lot to me in, uh, in a way because when I, my first trip to America in uh, 71, mm -hmm. I flew over especially to see the uh, comeback show of Elvis. Mm -hmm. And it was on at the garden. So uh, we share the same birthday. So I always You had... and Elvis have the same birthday? Yeah, we, yeah, we were drinking buddies uh, way back. <laughs> uh -huh, I used uh -huh. to fly over to Memphis and we'd uh, you know, go out for the night on the Raz. Uh -huh. Big Cadillac. Big, uh -huh. big Cadillac. Is there any truth to any of this? No. I was told that was true. <laughs> I've read I just it. had to ask. I've read it. It's such a cool image. He sent me a telegram once. Uh huh. Uh, okay. I understand. You know, <laughs> yeah, now I'd believe nothing. In fact, you're not David Bowie. Hair, hair comes you right off. Is yeah. not rehearsed. Yeah. Yeah. The, um, yeah. You know, I want to ask you, you know, one of the things you've done that's so amazing when you think you, you've, you've reached this point in your career, you've managed to stay relevant in music. And it's probably through all the different transformations you've made. Well, you know, diff the different characters that you've uh, portrayed. A few years ago, I joined Relevance Anonymous. <laughs> and, uh, we'd, sit, uh -huh. we'd just sit and share uh -huh. uh, our ideas, and, uh -huh. uh, and, and everybody else would network and uh, yeah. give us feedback and suggestions of how we keep relevant. Who didn't get into Relevance Anonymous? I'm Anybody? I've got to stop right there. Yeah. <laughs> I want this to get real mean, yeah, real fast. No, no. Uh, I want to uh, actually just just take a, a brief uh, walk down uh, memory lane. But first of all, <laughs> just to look at some of the different characters. Liz, put these up, because it's good to refresh everybody's memory. Of course, there was the young David. This yeah. is too early on. Then there was uh, Ziggy Stardust, of course. Yeah. Favorite to me. Then there was the Thin White Duke, of course, my personal favorite. And then uh, there was a period there where you were trying <laughs> different. You were trying different <laughs> no, personas. No, 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 don't do this to me. No, yeah. I don't remember if other people remember this. We reviewed this once on the show, but you were you were trying different personas that I don't think quite had the commercial yeah. appeal. There was the suave hunchback. Yeah. Do you remember this at all? <laughs> Ernie Stardust. Yeah. There was uh, the bucktooth wizard. I remember he was. <laughs> and then this is strange. Your corn on the cob period. I found confusing. <laughs> I don't know what. Yeah, that was your favorite, the that corn was, on the cob. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, that was very You're tasty. free to use any of these, by the way, if you want. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, uh, I don't know if this is true, but yeah. I love finding these things out. The, yeah. the, you actually, when you were just starting out, you started in a mime troupe. Yeah, I, I, we worked in a mime troupe. There were several mime troops in Britain, and uh, it turned into a kind of a war uh, between mime troops. The, 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 the war, the mime wars of 1968. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Mostly, you remember those Paris things, the Paris riots? Yes. So, that wasn't that wasn't actually a student socialist thing. It was actually it was the mime wars of Paris, <laughs> uh -huh. and it was all these uh, the mimes were after Jean Genet, so that they could <laughs> do the first version of the maids. Uh huh. Uh huh. So they were, you're going to let me go with this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to let you go and uh, go. So they run around <laughs> eating each other. <laughs> we're going to put a prea pricks. Uh huh. And, oh wait, and, slow and down. <laughs> throttling each other in silence. Now were you were you actually in a mime? Troop? Did you do the thing in the box? You never did the thing in the box. I did the thing in the box. Oh, get out of here. I did that. We're going to ask you to leave now. <laughs> you don't want me to do the thing in the box? Do the thing Good. in the box. <laughs> yes. I've forgotten it. You forgot it. Yeah. Okay. Hey, that was pretty good. That's but you have to make this face. Who? Oh, yeah. Oh. No. That thing no, is. No, I don't. Yes. <laughs> yes, you legally do. Oh, that, oh, or you're in a lot of trouble. Oh. Uh, 
You did. There was a there was a, 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 a piece on the pay per view show yeah. that I that was quite visually interesting. The scary monsters thing. This was with. Yeah. What was it? Is that puppets? There's, there's a, um, a a media artist in America that I like very much called Tony Ausler. Um, it's it's interesting that in the '60s all the painters and all the artists were really well known, like mm -hmm. Andy Warhol. And I guess uh, in, the eight, in the 80s, it was Jeff Koons and mm -hmm. Julian Schnabel. But right now, it's almost impossible to think of a current artist who's a household name in, in quite the same way. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, that's just an aside, really, Conan. We had a clip here. Do you want to explain? What, what the, yeah. Do you want to show this yeah. clip here, Liz? Uh, I don't know if this needs setting up, but it, it's visually... Well, uh, just look at it. Okay, look at it. That's disturbing. <laughs> that was another persona. <laughs> That's going to be your next persona, is that what you said? A head getting stepped on. Yeah, we're just going to get one of uh, Tony's uh, models to actually do the vocals, and I'll be underneath on the floor. And the whole thing will work out. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, uh, there was something that they were playing here in America on MTV Round the Clock for a while, and it was uh, and it's something I've always wondered about, you singing uh, Christmas songs with Bing Crosby. Yeah. And, and this is something that I guess you probably did in 76, sometime around then. What yeah. was that like? Because it's such a strange thing to look at. You're, you're almost polar opposites in some way, and there you are together singing uh, these Christmas songs. Do you remember well, doing this and what it was like? I, I remember... Did it all I remember, blur? I remember doing it. Um, I, the communication factor was very strange. I had more communication, in a way, with Tony Ausler's uh, dummies. Mm -hmm. But it was... The, he didn't know who I was. He couldn't remember my name. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and he just sat on the stool the whole day, and uh, mm -hmm. I would I'd be... How were you brought into him? I, so it wasn't him saying, uh, I love this uh, whole Ziggy Stardust thing, but I want to meet said, this guy. Yeah, he just loved the heroes, period, yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> it was very was influential big, on Bing. He was a very big guy. Uh, he, he tried for months to get Eno to work with him on his next, uh, <laughs> on his next album. I would love to find those recordings.